Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, wherever in the world you're joining us from for today's session, which is the next in the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight webinar series. And today we're going to talk about how to trade key day reversals. Uh, I appreciate, as always, we have a broad range of people here joining us in the room. There's always some people who will know what key day reversals are, some people who are new to trading and will not be aware of, uh, of any of them at all. Have no fear by the end of this session, there will be something for uh, everyone regardless of their uh, regardless of their experience. But it's uh, great for you to, uh, to join us. We really appreciate you joining us. Uh, by all means, ask away questions in the, uh, in the chat box or if you're watching this later on uh, either YouTube or Facebook pages or Traders Yard pages, well, by all means, uh, feel free to uh, give us a like or drop a comment and uh, we appreciate any of the uh, interaction. Uh, and for those of you joining us live, today you know after this session i will also be in the trading spotlight uh, room on traders yard uh, and by all means come and join me there and i'll be happy to answer your questions further after the end of today's session if you're not aware of what traders yard is i will show you a slide at the end that will explain you a little bit where we are how you can find us uh, and we'd uh, as always really appreciate the interaction from yourselves so what am I going to talk about today for today's session? Well, I'm going to, not surprisingly, I'm going to talk about what is a key day reversal. And also in particular, you know, where were they found on charts, right? Where do they show up and how can they help us as traders? How can they help us in our trading decisions? Not surprisingly, we'll show you how to where trade them. I'm going to share that with you. And then if we have a bit of time at the end, we'd like to have a little look at, uh, at live markets. So by all means, uh, stick with us till the very end. As I said, we'll switch across to the live markets and take a look at uh, what's been going on there. And in particular, where if any key day reversals have shown up on charts, so you can actually start to understand uh, where, we, uh, where we see them and how they uh, begin to play out. So uh, for those who don't know me, my name's uh, Paul Wallace. I've uh, been trading for a good while now and have uh, traded for both uh, hedge funds and high net worth clients. And primarily my uh, favorite instruments are uh, FX indices and commodities. And I'm primarily sort of a trend trader, dominant trend trader for my kind of swing and position trades uh, and a much more uh, sort of mean reversion trader for uh, my intraday trading. Uh, and we're here today. It's uh, Admiral Markets. You know, Admiral Markets are a you know they're a forex and CFD broker with over eight thousand financial instruments, with uh, offices and representation in over twenty countries, and they are uh, regulated uh, across a, a wide range of entities, and provide very competitive spreads on popular trading instruments like the Euro Dollar and the DAX Thirty. There, and you can engage with markets on the uh, world's most popular trading platforms of MT4 and MT5, which are available from your phone your desktop and your browser and also you have access to the uh, admiral market supreme edition plugin if you have any question more questions about that please feel free to uh, get in touch with your account representative uh, and they'll be ha very happy to talk you through and, and guide you through the uh, the options So we have uh, people just joining us there, Lil uh, Vincenzo. Thank you, thanks for uh, joining us as always. There's a few of you here, new people there. You're very, very welcome. As I said, if there's uh, questions or comments, please feel free to uh, fire them away. We, uh, we enjoy the uh, interactions. But uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to talk about how to trade key day reversals. Now, um, what you'll hear is that, uh, you know, just make it very clear, even though we talk about key day reversals and, you know, primarily lots of traders will look for them on the daily time frame, the, the, actual, uh, the actual pattern itself is applicable across all time frames. If you remember, we talked a few weeks about, about, you know, sort of helping you become versatile traders, namely the ability to trade, you know, sort of uh, any instruments in any direction or any time frame, uh, and actually being able to understand and recognize key day reversal patterns is one of the elements that will help you become a versatile trader. And lots of people have heard about trading with key day reversals, but they may not be aware of what that actually means. It's just a simple price action setup that allows to identify the possible ends of trends and position ourselves for a new trend. It is quite a simple trading tactic to use. However, many people are taught the wrong or overcomplicated use of them. So hopefully what we'll do today is we'll explain them and share some simple ideas on how to trade markets 
using them. So as I said, you know, we're going to talk across all time frames and all instruments. The pattern itself, it's just a very simple price action pattern. But it's actually one of my favorite ones myself. It's one that's you know, built very heavily into my uh, own trading plan. Uh, and hopefully, you know, as I said, you by the end of this particular session, you should have the confidence to be able to, to recognize them and actually to be able to engage markets with them using key day reversals. So, you know, uh, ideally what we see for, uh, you know, for key day reversals is, you know, they're ideal for daily, weekly and monthly charts, but they can be used across all time frames. So I appreciate some people here in this room will be sort of intraday scalpers using one minute, and five minutes, and other people might be trading four hour daily, weekly, monthly or hourly charts. Okay. The pattern is the pattern in terms of it, you know, it sets up across all time frames and is valid. And it's just a very simple reversal tactic, right? That's best used to identify low risk, high reward opportunities. And so after a concerted move in one direction, we're looking for the momentum to reverse. As always, we're more interested when that happens at key levels, okay? Where we talk about having a confluence of events. And I've talked about that in pretty much the whole wide range of uh, Admiral Markets uh, webinars is that, you know, ideally we're always looking for a confluence of events. We're looking for somewhere where between two to four things all come together in one time and place, because that gives us a, uh, a an enhanced probability of a, uh, of a good trade working out for us. And that's what we're always looking to do, trying to just put the odds in our favor wherever possible, that uh, wherever the market allows us to. And so, you know, key day, key, key, key day reversals, KDRs, they're quite often as used as specific setup um, to provide that entry. And, you know, if you know what they are, you could probably see one on that little bit of a chart. Many of you might not know, but I assure you within, uh, within a couple of slides, you'll actually recognize what I'm talking about and, and why they become so, uh, so important in, uh, in my trading decisions. So the thing I will say about key day reversals is that you know they happen rarely, okay? They don't happen as often as things like you know pin bars, okay? But what it can be used is it can be used to signal the end of a trend, uh, and the higher the time frame, the more validity. So as we said, you know if you're trading these four hour daily, weekly, monthly, when they happen, okay, that provides more validity, okay? But really, they will just show up across all time frames, and they are good trade setups. What I can help do is provide some clear proof that the previous trend is either over or it's becoming close to its end. Okay, when you start to see key day reversals showing up, that gives you an idea that the, the present, present trend may be running out of steam and that actually either the trend is going to turn or it will actually, you know, looking to, looking to sort of reverse very, very shortly. So what is it? What actually is a key day reversal? Well, it's a sharp reversal pattern that occurs during a trend. In an uptrend, prices open at or above the previous day's close, make a new high, and then close beneath the previous day's lows. Let me just get out my uh, drawing tool as always. I appreciate that always helps, okay? So remember, looking at this, price opens, here we go, Prices open at or above the previous day's close. Let me just, uh, here we go. Uh, there we go. It'll be white because it's in white. We'll change that. But yeah, prices open at or above the previous day's close. Okay. And what we mean about open at or above, well, and very often, you know, very often in a, let's say, like a stock market where there are very clear sort of open and close time for the, uh, the exchange, well, then invariably price could basically close at one level and the next day open above the previous day's close, okay, which initially, initially is quite a bullish signal. But what happens is during that session, price makes a new high, and then closes below the previous day's low. And that's, that's the important element there. It closes below the previous day's low. And what we'll do here is we'll just, uh, let's have a uh, look. If we can get to the, change the colors here. Da, da, da. Just, oh, let me just change my uh, drawing tool here for some reason. Just change the color, make it more useful for you. There we go. It just wants to be in white today. 
Let's just do that. Da, da, da. There we go. Okay. So I just want you to look at this particular rack, particular candle pattern here. Hopefully you can see price has been in an uptrend. Okay. I say it every week. I'm a better trader than I am an artist. So uh, bear with me on my artistry skills. But okay, it just uh, it shows us what we're looking at. You can see that price has been in uptrend. Okay, for the most part. Then here we have this candle here. Okay, where we've got the little we've got the little our uh, little triangle here. Price price basically you know it opens at the same price because invariably it just on a, it's a weekly chart price then pushes to a new high just even just higher just price pushes to new high but then actually it rolls over and then it closes okay it closes beneath the low of the previous candle okay and i think this chart is a yeah it's a weekly chart on the dollar cat as i said but it can be across any time frame right the important thing is that price pushes to a new high and then closes below the previous day or week's low. That's the important element. Closes beneath the previous candle's low. And I just want you to think about that because think what has actually happened. I'm just going to clear these drawings to make it a bit easier for us. Is that if we think about it, you know, price has just gone up to new highs, okay? It's just sucked in all these new buyers, and then the bears have stepped in, okay, and they have effectively sold hard, right? They've sold hard, they have effectively wrestled control of that market. They have wrestled control of that market, okay? And what you're looking at is, well, when you're looking at this, it's a case of this, this uptrend is either now over or very, very close to the end of it, okay? And it just gives us a very, very compelling, uh, a compelling story, okay? It gives us a compelling change in the narrative. It's giving us a real psychological uh, sort of uh, uh, indication of who is now stepping in to take control of this market. And so maybe in that particular case, the bulls are losing control and the bears are taking control. And that's what we're interested in finding out. So, you know, it's a, as I said, it's a, it's that sharp reversal pattern that occurs during a trend and uptrend. Okay, prices open at or above the previous day's close, makes a new high, then close beneath the previous day's lows. So, you know, on this particular one here, I asked uh, sort of before if any of you could uh, particularly see one. Well, this here's on the, uh, this on the actual the opposite side. We can see the price has actually sort of been moving down there. Okay, for uh, for a while, and then what we have here is okay, we have uh, price opens. Pushes to a new low, okay? It pushes to a new low, but then you can see price has reversed and turned around. In this particular case, it's closed. It's closed above the high of the previous candle. In fact, in this case, the previous three candles. So just think about that. There is just a flip in terms of a sort of psychologically who is now in control of this market. As I said, they don't happen as often as we would like, but when we do see them, okay, we will sit up and take notice of them because they may be providing us an opportunity to either get out of our existing trend or position ourselves for a possible new trend. So, you know, a KDR can be formed in many ways, but however, many times uh, a key day reversal will also either look like a, a pin bar, an engulfing candle, or perhaps a combination of, uh, of them both. Here in this particular case, there's a key, whoops, the key day reversal here, which also looks like a, uh, an engulfing candle. Price has been going down. We actually had, you know, we had here, we had another key reversal here, okay? Price pushed to new highs, but closed beneath the low of the previous candle. And then actually price, what it did is it actually just pushed up a last few times. Remember I said that it's, you know, it's, a, it's it very often either indicating the end of the trend or the fact that the end of the trend is very close. Price actually just pushed up the last uh, few up, last few sessions here on silver and then once again it actually put in another key reversal okay another key day reversal candle here it pushed to new highs before closing beneath the low of the previous candle and then as you can see for yourself price fell away okay so as i said you know sometimes it looks like it might look like a pin bar it might look like an engulfing candle could actually look like a combination of them both but actually the important thing is that you know wherever Wherever price is open, so in an uptrend, price should push to new highs, but close beneath the low of the previous candle. In a downtrend, okay, it should push to new lows, but then swing around and close above the uh, the highs of the previous candle. Okay, and that's those are the important things that distinguish a, a key reversal candle from from anything else. 
So um, there's just uh, some, you know, a kind of examples there in terms of, you know, this was uh, this was a very, this is actually a pretty, pretty big one here. Okay, hopefully you can see it that, uh, you know, this was actually on the, the NASDAQ, all right? And I've got a few examples from various different, um, various different sort of uh, instruments, just to give you an idea that, you know, they show up on all time frames and on all instruments. And here we have, you can see for yourself, we had a very, very strong, very, very strong uptrend there on the, uh, on the, the NASDAQ. Uh, and then actually here, price hits a, a you know a significant level. Okay, price hits pushes to a new high, but then you can see for yourself we had a day where it just really totally fell off, and it closed beneath the lows of in fact quite a few of the candles there. Okay, that's just giving you an indication that for the moment that uptrend is is over. Okay, and that is what's sort of getting us ready to position ourselves for for the next possible move. <clears throat> Uh, you know, here we have, uh, in terms of, you know, some you know, quite a few different sort of opportunities showing you like uh, across like, uh, you know, how we can sort of see things like four hour charts quite often they can be used to sort of help us identify the sort of starts and ends of nice swings. If you're a, if you're a swing trader, then, you know, KDRs can actually help you enormously. So we've got, this is the, uh, the sort of uh, uh, Australian dollar, okay, against the US dollar. And it's the four hour chart. And what we see here is, you know, price was actually in effect. We have, you know, kind of one here as well, but really what we like to see is a proper good existing, uh, at the end of a good trend. Here we have it, price has been trending down. We then actually have a bullish key reversal here. Price pushes to a new low, okay, but swings around in that session and closes above the high of the previous candle. And you can see that that actually price moved very, very nicely up from there. It was in that particular instance, it was exactly the end of the trend. Price moves on up here, okay, and then actually what we have here is that, you know, price opens, it pushes to a new high, but actually we can see the price rolls over and then it closes beneath the low of, in this case, the previous two candles. So we've had, once again, we've had that swing and price actually moves down itself. And then what we see is that invariably what happens here is that price pushes to new lows here, but actually swings around and actually closes above the high of the previous couple of candles. So, you know, in those kind of three examples there, what we've seen is that, you know, just a key day reversal, a key reversal pattern, just nicely indicating the sort of the, uh, the end of the trends. And, and very much, you know, if you're a swing trader on, let's say, four hour daily charts, well, then, you know, key reversals, as I say, they don't happen as often as we would like, but, they, you know, when they do turn up, well, then they're definitely worth taking notice of, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, here's uh, just uh, some more examples here, okay, of, uh, in this particular case, this is the uh, the US dollar, Canadian dollar here, and uh, if I just get my drawing too long, price of sort of just been grinding its way north, okay, we can see ourselves there, but actually what we see here is that price pushes to a new high, but then the, the candle rolls over and closes beneath the low of the previous candle, and that gives an indication that that uptrend has now come to an end. And what we see is actually a price really falls down and falls away. Okay, and that, as I say, they don't happen as often as you like, but when we do, okay, at the end of a trend, remember this is a reversal candlestick, okay? So it needs something to reverse. It needs a trend to be able to reverse. And that is what actually helps us uh, uh, move that in terms of recognizing that there might be a, a, an opportunity for us to position ourselves ready for a year uh, for a new trend. Uh, and here's uh, sort of a couple of examples. This is the pound against the dollar on the uh, the weekly chart, uh, where in fact, you know, we had a, a long weekly uptrend started by uh, KDRs, K reversals, but then it was also ended by a key reversal. And these are, as I said, on the weekly chart. Price had actually been sort of drifting its way down. And what we can see here in this candle where, the, uh, where, our, uh, where our arrow is, is that price pushed to new lows, but then actually swung about and it closed higher than the previous week's close. That was an indication that this downtrend was coming to an end. And what actually price did is it sort of, it bounced, it came back down, it kind of started to form effectively a higher low, sort of a double bottom, a one, two, three reversal. And what helped that was invariably the fact that price at this time pushed to a new low, but swung about and closed higher 
than the previous week's high. Okay, so we've got two key reversals there. And as you can see, price actually just drifted up four effectively. If this was like effectively for a year, just over a year that it was to signify the end of the downtrend in sterling, uh, sterling against the US dollar, and actually that we were just driving our way north for about, for about sort of 12 to 14 months. Until we got on the weekly chart, we got another key reversal candle here, ladies and gentlemen. Price, you know, pushed to a new high, but it fell away. It rolled over and reversed, and actually it closed beneath the low, okay, of the previous two weeks candle. And actually that started a sort of a very long downtrend in the pound against the dollar. And we'll have a little look at that on live charts in the moment because we're still actually sort of living and working through that. So, as I say, unfortunately, they don't happen as often as we like, but when they do turn up, ladies and gentlemen, they are well worth taking notice of. <clears throat> and this is, you know, as I said, this is where we actually find ourselves, okay, uh, where we found ourselves at the moment, namely that, you know, continuing that. We just looked at it there, if you remember, that, you know, that invariably that, Key, key reversal there actually sort of closed off that long uptrend that we've been following for uh, for about 14, 15 months in uh, in the cable, the pound against the dollar. And actually it finished, as I said, you can see by a key reversal that price opened, it pushed to a new high, but rolled over and it closed, okay, beneath the low of the previous candle, okay. Remember, it's showing us that there's a complete swing, a complete switch in the uh, in the psychological uh, who psychologically who's in control of that market and we can see that price has actually drifted all the way back uh, all the way down here okay so you know we drifted down there from around about 140 down to around about 126 okay 126 127 which is uh, just quite uh, quite something okay that's quite a quite a nice move if you're uh, if you're able to catch part of that move as a trader And, you know, here's uh, kind of uh, sort of examples on, on the four hour chart, okay, which as I say, if you're a swing trader, having key reversals is a, uh, is a, is a great tool to have in your uh, trading armory. Price had been sort of drifting its way up there, okay, on the, uh, the four hour chart, right up until it actually printed a key reversal. Price pushed to new highs, okay, but closed beneath the lows of the previous candle. And then we saw price sort of drifting, okay, you know, sort of drifting down, okay, almost almost kind of like a little bit of a, a channel, but that channel ended, whoops, that channel ended here, where in fact price pushed to a new high, okay, but closed above the highs of the previous candles beforehand, and that was the sign that actually we were about to get a, uh, a bump, okay, that in fact, you know, the kind of the, the trend was re-exerting this kind of the... Uh, up at the sort of a longer term uh, uh, uptrend was re-exerting. And as you can see for yourself, price sort of uh, moved its way very, very nicely there until actually, as we see here, this, the, this kind of candle here, price pushed to a new high, but closed beneath the low, okay, which gave us a sort of a double top at that particular time, which uh, effectively showed us that the end of that uptrend was uh, coming to a, to a close as well. So as I said, you know, uh, they, you know, they don't happen often, but when they do, sit up, take notice, okay, and be prepared to trade. So, you know, how, how do we trade them, okay? Uh, how do we trade them, okay? So, well, uh, you know, ideally, okay, we want to use them, uh, you know, to provide a re-entry to, to trends, okay, and, and an ideal, well, for, for new beginning traders, what I'd be suggesting is that where you have existing trends, where you have pullbacks in those that are ended by key reversals, a little bit like, if I just go back one, back one slide, okay, whoops, go back one slide, a little bit like this opportunity here, okay, in that the sort of the longer term trend was up. And then we saw a bit of a, a pullback there. The pullback was ended by a key reversal before the existing trend kind of re-exerted itself. That would be, you know, that would be the ideal opportunity. Okay, but invariably, you know, that um, that uh, that was all very nice, but invariably that doesn't always uh, that doesn't always work the way. So, you know, ideally we want them to provide a re-entry to trends. Okay, but you will find that most of them will print. Okay, most of them will, you know, they will form and they will print on the charts as reversals or as the ends of trends. 
okay? And so this is, as I say, it's a reversal. You know, the, the, the clue is in the name, ladies and gentlemen, it is a key reversal. So it's a case of uh, understanding, you know, and in, for today, for like the sort of the, let's say the conservative way to trade them, conservative way to, to set up to trade them. Well, what we're looking to do is we're looking to trade the entry on the break of the candle in the direction of the close. Okay, so here, of course, not surprisingly, in this example here, we have a bullish close. Okay, so we're going to be, we know we're going to be looked to be a buyer after the end of a the end of a down move. Okay, we had a big key reversal here, closes, and you'll be looking to basically to be a buyer. In the same way here, this example here, okay, that invariably it closed bearish. Okay, so we know we're going to look to be a particular seller. You're going to trade the entry on the break of the candle in the direction of the close. Yes, once you're at that for your entry, your stop loss is going to be on the other side of that particular candle. Okay, it's going to be on the other side of that candle. Okay, just by a just by a few pips there. Okay, just covering the uh, the spreads, uh, and then what you should be looking for as a target is you should be aiming for about one and a half times your risk so if in this particular case your if in this particular case your uh, let's say your risk was a uh, here your risk was 100 pips well you know we'd be looking for a move of around about 150 pips here as your target alternatively okay here let's say that our uh, our trade risk is about 50 pips well we'd be looking for about 75 pips okay as a target for us so you know what i'd be saying is that you know those of you who are uh, you know who have experienced traders might have like to use uh, trailing stops well then this might be an opportunity for you to employ that trailing stop to be able to trade um to tr carry on with that trade but you know just to begin with today for i appreciate you know a lot of our uh, audience are new to trading this is about you being able to have a um, particular sort of you know simple almost kind of trade idea you can take away is that you know you trade entry on the the break of the candle in the direction of the close stop loss is always on the other side of that candle and you're going to aim for one and a half to one reward to uh, to risk I've just added a little trading tip there in at the bottom, okay, is that if you're already in an existing trend trade and then a key reversal prints against you, well, then that's probably a good sign that for your trade is about to end. It's a good signal to leave your existing trend trade. So let's just, you know, if we had been, let me just get rid of some of these. If we had been, you know, in a short trade here, as soon as we'd seen that actually happen, well, we'd know that we want to be out of that particular short trade. Equally, if we've been buying this, been buying here, okay, well, then when we get this first key reversal here, okay, well, that would be an indication that for us to get rid of or to get ready to, to leave our particular, to leave our particular uh, uh, trade. If you still haven't, and then you see the second one, well, then, you know, that might be a bit of a challenge, okay, because we can see that price falls away quite significantly there after, uh, after that. So, you know, that's what we're looking for, okay? Just a, a simple trade, a trade way we can look and do it. Just a simple sort of understanding of, you know, how we can trade it, how we can sort of, uh, um, uh, you know, see these trades, where our entry is, where our stop loss is, and what we'd be looking for in terms of a target. And, you know, in a future session, what we'll do is we'll look at sort of advanced, you know, advanced ways to sort of uh, engage with price action trading and how to sort of, you know, uh, enhance the uh, enhance the profitability of your particular setups. But for today, it's more about you being able to understand what a key day reversal is, where they happen, how they set up, okay, what we're looking for, uh, and how we can uh, just look to use them to engage with markets on a, uh, on a simple, straightforward, conservative basis. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, you know, those of you who join me know, I'm always going to set you a little bit of homework, okay, because actually that's the best way for you to get better at these, okay, and in fact, it's the best way for you to evolve as a trader, is, you know, just go away and look through your favorite trading instrument, if you're, you know, if you're a cable trader, or if you're, you're a dollar trader, or you're, maybe you're a gold trader, just go away and look through your favorite trading instruments, and then just look through and sort of try and identify them, you know, where the possible key day reversals, just, just go through them, have a look through different time frames. And just look at, you know, when they printed, how did the market react after they were printed? Okay, did, they, did the market reverse? Did the market move in a new direction? 
And if it did, well, was that a possible trade for you? Was there the opportunity to, you know, to basically to take just the simple setup that we've uh, just shared there in the previous slide? Okay, have a look at that. Start to do a little bit of paper trading on that. Then maybe look at it, considering adding it to your demo trading routine if you're a completely brand new trader. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, in terms of conclusions, as we said, uh, key day reversals are a rare yet very powerful setup. Um, they are setups where the market has been overwhelmed by the opposition, right? It demonstrates total psychological overwhelm by the opposing side of the trade, be the, whether it be that uh, the bulls or the bears. And that provides us with the, the basis of a very simple trading plan. Uh, and what we'll do there, ladies and gentlemen, for the for the last uh, few moments here is we'll we'll take a look at them on live markets. We'll see where they where if any there have been setting up, and you know we'll be able to show you and talk it. I appreciate it. it always helps when we look at it on uh, on live particular markets. But you know, for those of you who want a little bit more a uh, bit more support, okay, I appreciate that uh, you know new traders sitting at home on their own, they're always looking for a bit of help and support with their. Uh, with their trading endeavors, well, you can very often, you know, you can very often join us on the Trading Spotlight community. Uh, and what we'll see here is that, you know, you can get that support after the webinar. I'll be there on in uh, Trader's Yard after this particular webinar. Those of you there, you're welcome to join us. So you'll see that uh, myself and my colleagues, okay, we're just putting ideas upon strategies, market events, signals, and more with the other traders, my friends uh, and colleagues Marcus and Jens, they know they put up some excellent uh, content on there. They're really, uh, really quite prolific. Really putting some really fascinating insights there into their view on the markets, so you get a chance to see, you know, their view on the markets and how one react when their trades they go. What you'll also find is that you know quite a lot of the recordings of the Trading Spotlight webinars are on there. So why don't you come and join us? Just quite look, simply look there at tradersyard.com and you can find the Trading Spotlight group at tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312. And as I said, um, I'll be in there for about half an hour after this particular session. If you've got any real questions you want to ask me about key reversals, you'd be very welcome to sort of come along and do so. As always, don't forget to join us next time, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, on Wednesday, we have my colleague Marcus, and he's going to talk about how you can learn about how to take a long-term perspective in your trading. What does that uh, actually mean? Well, he's going to talk about the mistakes that most traders make about putting everything into uh, one trade, the benefits of looking at long-term trading results rather than one trade at a time, uh, and how to shift your mindset to the, the long-term itself. So that will be on 2 p.m. on uh, London time this coming Wednesday. You can uh, check your inbox for the webinar link or you can head over to the AdmiralMarkets.com website, okay, where you can uh, sign up for the Trading Spotlight webinars there. What you'll find is there's plenty of analysis and education on the AdmiralMarkets.com website. Please feel free to go across there, be able to sign up for the Trading Spotlight and a whole host of other resources that will help you uh, help you in your trading endeavours. If you have any particular questions, if you're watching this later, then you can always drop us an email at hello at AdmiralMarkets.com. Check us out, youtube.com forward slash Admiral Markets, where you'll find all of the Trading Spotlight webinars are, or on the Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash Admiral Markets Global. So I hope you found that uh, useful, ladies and gentlemen. If you know, regardless of uh, your uh, trading experience, that uh, you have the opportunity to sort of understand what key reversals are and how they can be utilised in your own trading. We've got a few moments uh, left, so what I'll do is, if you bear with me a moment, I'll switch across to the uh, uh, to the sort of Admiral Markets MetaTrader 4 platform, uh, and we'll spend the last couple of minutes just having a quick look through some markets and uh, some particular setups there. So if you just bear with us a moment, and we'll switch across. Okay, 
ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you can uh, still uh, hear my voice. Hopefully you can see my uh, charts and screens. I hope that uh, hope that all helps, okay? That uh, um, Vincenzo says, very instructive as usual. Thank you. Uh, you're very welcome, Vincenzo. Thanks for always, uh, thanks for joining us, okay? Thanks for your, uh, we always appreciate it. Um, Boris says thanks, and uh, Plyman says, yeah, it's always interesting in this series. Thanks very much, Plyman. Thanks for your, uh, appreciate And thanks, you know, for uh, your questions on uh, the Traders Yard website. Hope that, uh, hope the replies helped you there in your uh, in your own particular uh, trading but you know as i said let's have a quick look for a uh, for our last uh, few moments here let me just move some things out of the way so we can make it a little bit easier so uh, this i have here ladies and gentlemen is the uh, is the sort of uh, is the dollar index okay the us dollar uh, index and i'm just gonna I'm just going to look up on the, the monthly chart, okay, is that, um, you know, the kind of very big picture on this. Let me just quickly show is that um, up here, okay, this is uh, this was after Mr. Trump got uh, got effectively, um, well, he, uh, just after he was uh, uh, inaugurated as the President of the United States and actually Price printed like almost like a monthly key reversal there, okay. And then for the rest of the year, what we saw was just the, the dollar sell off, okay. But actually we've had a little bit of a, we've had a run back up here you can see that on the monthly chart when i go down to the weekly chart let me just zoom in is that you no know, we had a, a couple of weeks ago okay we had a, a price pushed up okay and then hit a new high for the year and then fell away and then actually what happened is price pushed up again looking to make a double top and, and i was able to sort of establish kind of a short position in the dollar just uh, based off what i saw on this we had a you know a double chart top happening but more interestingly if i go down to the uh, to the four hour chart okay what we have here is let me just zoom out maybe a little bit is there we go so this was the first top that we just looked at there on the weekly chart and price kind of hit those new highs and then fell away and then actually what we saw was price came back to sort of retest there retest this area let's just maybe just bring that tighten that up there a little bit came back to kind of retest that area but hopefully i'm hoping what you can see is that as price hit that new area okay where price had been operating before it fell away, okay. It fell away in the four-hour chart, and, and what do I uh, what do I have here? But I have just draw in there. I have a very nice uh, key reversal, okay. We had a big four-hour key reversal candle, and what we can actually see is that you know the price has just fallen away from there. Now, last week we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a pullback, but realistically, what we had there for about two two and a half nearly three weeks was just really a kind of a nice move there okay we had a nice down move from the dollar which just literally came from the confluence of events okay key reversal happening okay at a particular area okay a particular recent high that we had uh, we had traded up to so as i said they don't happen often but keep an eye out for them because when they do they become kind of uh, they become very useful uh, sort of trading uh, um, trading instruments for us to have a, uh, a look at or a trading setup for us to to work with i've been looking at sort of you know if i look at pound against dollar okay if you uh, remember we looked at there this is the weekly chart we looked here okay uh, you know how price had sort of on the weekly chart had double topped here and it finished with a key reversal a weekly key reversal price pushed to a new high it rolled over collapsed and closed beneath the low of the previous candle and then what it did was as you can see it just ran away there it almost printed one here but it didn't price price wealth price was a this was an engulfing candle it didn't actually close higher than the previous candles closed and that's the important thing you have to keep an eye on okay that actually price has to close higher than the previous um the previous high the same happened here okay at the sort of start of uh, september we had a double bottom at 120 price pushed down and came up but it didn't close okay it didn't close it wasn't a key reversal can it was an engulfing candle because an engulfing candle just has to have the range to engulf okay whereas actually this it didn't close high okay that's that's the that's the thing you have to be very um that's the thing you have to be very very careful of there and so just to finish off there and the four hour chart here okay this is on the uh here we go on the pound against the uh, pound against the dollar here okay well you know i was looking at after our run-up last week we had you know a key reversal here price had run its way up we had a key reversal here followed by another key reversal and we had a little short trade there in towards the end of the week 
but today we've got sort of shenanigans happening in the UK and to take that we've taken that kind of trade off there at the moment but we'll wait and see what happens with that so uh, unfortunately ladies and gentlemen it looks like we've uh, run out of time as always I uh, try to cram in as much as we can I hope you found that particularly uh, useful I hope you get some benefit from that as I say if you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook later then by all means you know uh, please drop in any questions or comments you might have for those of you who are still around please come and join me in the uh, traders yard okay right uh, right after this webinar I'll be around there for about half an hour to answer any questions you might have and I'll quite happily take um, take any thoughts you might have as always uh, I wish you the best of success in your own trading ladies and gentlemen I look forward to seeing to you uh, uh, next week uh, and please feel free to join my uh, join my colleague Marcus on Wednesday for his own particular session many thanks and trade well ladies and gentlemen